Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my garden this early in the morning. One of the plants I just wanted to talk about today because I'm so grateful for is this unusual plant, and it is called a giant milkweed. And as you all know, I garden for butterflies and hummingbirds, actually pollinators. And this particular plant, the giant milkweed, was a lifesaver for us in the early spring for our monarch butterflies. And the reason this plant has been so wonderful is because the leaves on this plant are very thick and this plant can sustain a lot of monarch caterpillars whereas a typical normal milkweed plant cannot and our native milkweeds aren't growing and they aren't aren't um, producing earlier in the spring and so this plant and it is not a native but this plant was wonderful for us and it just sustained so many of our monarch caterpillars. In fact, we had um, 30 in the spring caterpillars that we were able to release um, due to having a giant milkweed, um, our giant milkweed plant. <laughs> the only reason I'm showing you this leaf is because um, in towards the end of August, we had um, a hailstorm, which is pretty unusual for the Houston area and we had dime-sized hail and it just really um, went through the leaves of this milkweed of our giant milkweed but since then we've had a lot of new growth that has just been beautiful and I've got more than one giant milkweed because of the wonderful support it provides for monarch caterpillars in the spring. We, it, it, it is not um, cold hardy, so we do have to protect it in the, in the winter. Um, last year we brought it into the garage, but we will do that again just so we're able to provide a habitat for the monarch caterpillars. Um, in the early spring. It does get fairly tall. You'll notice I have it potted. And the reason I have it potted is because, again, we have very thick clay soil. And this particular plant needs a better well-draining soil. And so anything that I'm a little bit concerned with, I will try to put it in a pot. Even with planting higher above ground or trying to amend the soil, it just doesn't really, has not worked for us because we can get inches and inches and inches of rain and that clay just soaks it up. And if it continues to rain, it stays in those boggy conditions. And some plants are just too sensitive to where they're not able to survive. And so when I come across plants that I feel that are like that, I will put in a pot. This does flower and it does attract the pollinators. I don't find the flower very pretty, um, but it is a large flower. You've probably seen it in my videos um, a couple of months ago. But the flowers, the flower segments themselves are very large. But again, this is purely 
for our monarch caterpillars. And to answer your questions for those of you, if you're wondering, um, do monarch butterflies lay eggs on this? Um, they do. Interestingly enough, they do. And we've raised, um, caterpillars have been raised on this totally and are, you know, develop into very beautiful and successful monarch butterflies. I even had one early this spring move from one of my balloon milkweed plants to the giant on its own and then grow through its instars, through a couple more instars on the giant before it pupated and developed into a beautiful butterfly. So thanks for joining me as we talked about this giant milkweed plant. I hope you all have a great day.